Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by WordLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add perspective to your images in Microsoft Word. Perspective is that effect that makes it look like something is far away and you're coming at it from an angle, just like in the picture there. It's real easy to do in Microsoft Word, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Today's question comes from Alex. Alex is my right-hand man, one of my Access Developer gurus and helper in the forums. He actually did this a while back. He designed a cover for me for one of my CDs, way back when I used to sell CDs still. He says, how do you make your images look like they're tilted at an angle and going off into the distance? I did it once, and I can't remember what I did. Well, Alex, there's a setting. I use Microsoft Word, but this also is available in PowerPoint, and I'm pretty sure in Excel. But all you have to do is drop your image in there and turn what's called perspective on. Let me show you. Okay, here I am inside of Microsoft Word, and I copied and pasted any old image. I happen to use a copy of my Excel book from 2010 that you can find on Amazon.com. Hint, hint. No, I'm just kidding. It's 10 years old. It's a great book, but it's 10 years old. All right, all you have to do is click on your image, right-click, and then come down to Format Picture. This cool-looking Format Picture pane appears over here. I'm going to close up Shadow. Shadow's the default that they give you. Come down here to where it says 3D Rotation. Okay. Now down here there's a perspective option, but it's grayed out. You can't add perspective unless you pick one of the presets that has perspective in it. So click on that. Then once you pick that, you'll see all these presets that appear. There's a bunch of them in the center here that say perspective. So pick the one that looks the most like what you want. I'm going to go with this one. It's kind of bending to the left. All right, and you can see, let me bring this back over here into view, you can see that this is kind of bent just a little bit that way. Well, here's the perspective right here. Just add some more perspective to it. And look at this. As I keep clicking, it looks like it's getting further and further off into the distance. It's not just a rotation. X up here is a rotation, like you stuck a, a line in the center and you're just pivoting around that. Perspective actually makes this side smaller and this side bigger. And then once you have a little bit of perspective, you can give it more rotation if you want to, and then it really accentuates that effect. You can give it some Y rotation. Now it looks like I'm coming at it from the top, and see how this corner down here is much, much smaller. Or the other way, if you want to look like it's big and in front of you, right? You can click on these buttons over here, too, to change directions, like this, see? The trick is knowing that you have to use a preset to turn perspective on. That's pretty much the trick. If you want to rotate it around the other way, let's move it around this way, see? All kinds of stuff you can do. Make it look like it's right underneath like that. See how we're kind of looking up at it? And that's it. That's perspective. There's a whole bunch of options in here. Members, I will run through a couple other cool options for you. I'll put that in the Members Extended Cut video after this. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and lots of other perks. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available and the perks associated with each one. But don't worry, these tech help videos will keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making them, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like and share. Make sure you click on the subscribe button and choose all to get notified whenever I post any new videos. Make sure you click the show more button down below the video, below the description. You'll see lots of additional links and resources down there. If you have not yet tried my free Word Level 1 course, visit my website now, there's the link, and sign up. It's a free hour-long course on all the basics of Microsoft Word, and it's absolutely free. And if you like Level 1, you can sign up for Level 2 for just $1. That's another complete hour-long video for just a dollar. If you would like to see your question answered in a video just like this one, visit my Tech Help page, and you can post your question there. Look for me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross with WordLearningZone.com. Thanks for learning with me, and I'll see you next time.